Edinburgh, Tex. As outrage mounts over the Trump administration's separation of hundreds of migrant children from their parents, the person overseeing that zero-tolerance policy on the busiest stretch of the southwest border said the number of families affected could double. Manuel Padilla Jr., Border Patrol Chief for the Rio Grande Valley, told the Washington Post on Thursday that his agents had separated 568 parents from children as young as five since the zero-tolerance policy was announced on April 6. But that figure represented only half the number of parents who could have been prosecuted for entering the country illegally, leaving Border Patrol plenty of room to ramp up family separations. We are trying to build to 100% prosecution of everybody that is eligible. He said, We are not there yet, but that is our intent. Nationwide, nearly 2,000 minors were taken from their parents from April 19 through May 31, according to figures from the Department of Homeland Security. Subscribe to the Post Most newsletter. Today's most popular stories on the Washington Post as reporters pressed the White House for a justification of the controversial policy Thursday. Padilla sat in his office 1,700 miles away. Calmly providing the rationale. Dressed in green fatigues, the 32 year member of the Border Patrol was unapologetic. He said years of lax enforcement had only encouraged more violators. This zero tolerance initiative changes that completely, he said. We cannot just have this surge of immigration without any consequences. The number of parents and minor children illegally crossing remains steady overall in May but rose 10% in the Rio Grande Valley. But Padilla said the policy needs more time to take effect. Migrant advocates say, however, that the factors pushing many families to the United States, such as gang violence in Central America, are not going away. It doesn't matter how cruel we become, said Wendy Young, president of Kids in Need of Defense Kind, a nonprofit group that provides immigrant children with pro bono legal support. Families are going to take that risk, she said. A last stand at the border Padilla is an unlikely champion of family separation. He was born and raised on the border in Nogales, Arizona, but his parents were born on the other side, in Mexico, where he often visited his grandparents when he was a child. The border back then was three strands of barbed wire, he recalled. Padilla, 52 first encountered the Border Patrol as a teen working on ranches in Nogales and seeing border agents passing on patrol. He joined the Army straight out of high school with an eye on the Border Patrol, which he joined two years later. In 2012, Padilla was put in charge of the Tucson office. At the time, that sector, which includes his hometown, was the busiest on the border. Under his watch, Drug cartel activity and illegal immigration along the border in Arizona declined sharply. But activists accused him of being too aggressive. In early 2014, the American Civil Liberties Union filed a complaint alleging that his agents had performed unconstitutional searches and used excessive force. Around that time, illegal border crossings shifted east as thousands of unaccompanied minors from Central America began crossing the Rio Grande each month. Padilla was put in charge of the Rio Grande Valley sector in February 2016. Unlike in Arizona, there wasn't a wall along the border. Padilla said he and his agents grew frustrated with what he called the catch and release of migrants who cross the river illegally with their children. When President Trump took office, illegal immigration initially plummeted, especially in the Rio Grande Valley. In March 2017, Padilla's agents apprehended only 646 parents and minor children crossing the border. But the number began to creep back up. And by April of this year, when the Trump administration announced zero tolerance, the tally was over 6, 000. Padilla said the new policy reinvigorated the 3,000 agents under his command, who he said were very motivated to be able to do their jobs again. He shrugged off criticism, including comparisons of Border Patrol facilities to concentration camps. Really, our mission is border security, said Padilla, whose unit is hiring more officers. And I think now we have a policy that supports securing our borders. In his Edinburgh office, decorated with maps of the border and a mounted Bowie knife, Padilla showed a reporter videos of fatal crashes in which smugglers tried to avoid authorities. In another video, taken just a few days before, a woman wept as she told Border Patrol agents that a smuggler had thrown her daughter off a raft as he demanded more money. We've got agents who are rescuing children right at the river 
sometimes in the river, he said. We've got children who show up in extremely bad shape. We've got children of a tender age who've been assaulted by their smugglers. As painful as separating families might be, the aim was to stop those families from coming, thereby sparing them from smugglers, he said. Padilla said his sector was responsible for 40% of all border apprehensions, so he knew the attention of the president, and much of the country, was now on his valley. This is what I call the last stand. He said. Prosecutions rising 10 miles away in downtown McAllen. John